Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory, honor, and the praise for you are so wonderful and so great. You are the mighty God and the mighty counselor. We give you all the Prince of Peace. And we thank you now. And we forever give you the glory, honor, and the praise. And Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that as your word will go forth, that the people will be receptive to your word. <clears throat> and not only receive your word, but also apply it. And not only apply it, but share your word uh, to a dying world. And Lord God, and particularly upon this season, as we come to give thanks and praise you for giving your uh, son, we give you glory, give you praise now in the mighty the name of Jesus. And all the people say it. Amen. 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 Turn with me to Matthew chapter 1. Matthew ch chapter 1, starting at verse 18. Matthew chapter 1, starting at verse 18. I'm not going to try to be too, too long. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 reads, Now the birth of Jesus was on this wise. When, as his mother, Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But when he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. For that which is conceived in her is of uh, the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, that and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with a child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpret God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she brought forth her firstborn son, and called his name Jesus. Those who have ear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. Amen. And in your time, go ask that you would read uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 1 through 7, to get the whole thrust of the sermon that you will also read, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. I just want to simply talk to you from the thought, uh, the gift of God. The gift of God. Or if you need a secondary subject, we just simply talk about God is with us. Amen. God is with us. Now as we have come to look upon or to uh, <clears throat> celebrate this birth date, there has this day that has been designated as designated as the uh, day in which Jesus was said to be born. So oftentimes that if you read it, if you study, if you look at it historically and, and the, the possibility of that in which you will discover that that Jesus had been ultimately said to be born uh, around in about the 
second half of September to the first week of October. And you know that is also the, the, the time of when there is what they call the Feast of Tabernacle. I looked at what it had led, if you will, into the Passover. But yet, that as, as we are here, we are here, that, that uh, so oftentimes in our modern time that, that when it comes to uh, Jesus or, 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 or Jesus being Lord or Jesus being God or, or Jesus being our Savior, rather than we uh, elevate, if you will, uh, our mindset rather than we uh, elevate our uh, definition we often wants to uh, bring Jesus down to our level rather than raising our standard to be like Jesus let me give you the case in point when we come when we come to 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 worship that we should come to to praise the Lord. We should come to worship him and not to celebrate Jesus as if he just another celebrity. You, you see, there's a difference in celebration and worship. You see, worship and praising the Lord is on a higher level than uh, just uh, celebrating him. Uh, 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 you have to be careful of the type of words that you will use when it comes to the Lord. You will celebrate, if you will, a pastor's anniversary. You will celebrate, if you will, a, a uh, if you uh, someone uh, a, a politician. No, you will celebrate your birthday. You will celebrate uh, your mom and your your father's birthday, or you will celebrate a church anniversary. Jesus is more than just a celebrity because he is Lord and he is Savior and he is Kings of Kings. Amen. So then, so then, so then, so then that that the world have now and um, have been uh, since Adam has been born into sin for when um, Adam and Eve had bit of the fruit and sin was uh, came into the world and God ultimately had to uh, put Adam and Eve out of the garden and put an angel there with a flaming sword so they wouldn't go back in the garden and eat of the tree of uh, the the, uh, the tree of life. So then, uh, uh, sin had been born into uh, had come into the world, and what but what I love about God is that He always have a plan. He knew that Adam, in his omniscience, he knew that Adam was going to um, bite of the fruit and sin was going to come into the world. And, and so his plan was ultimately uh, the, the second uh, person of the Trinity would be ultimately born into the world. So God has a, had a plan, so, and, and as sin was being evolving into the world, that um, that God ultimately had a way to reconcile us back on to himself. So here, so here we will find that um, uh, upon this, this uh, narrative that uh, uh, Matthew had written as coupled, if you will, with the Dr. Luke in chapter 2, we will find that was a, there was a series of events that was leading to Jesus being born. So then uh, uh, we will find that that uh, the, the time has come, fulfillment has come. And you remember that when, uh, 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 with the Old Testament, that time was ultimately counting down. But when Jesus came on the scene, time has started counting up. And you will find that, that that is to say that when we allow or when we let Jesus into our lives, our lives may be on a descending end, but when you let Christ into your heart, not only will he uh, uh, make things better, but your life will start to ascend and to get better because the Savior is there to help you in whatever situation that you have in your life. So then, so then, so then, you have here, you have here, 
uh, you have uh, the characters, if you will. You have uh, Mary, and you have Joseph, and you have the angel Gabriel. You, you know about the, the angel Gabriel, the archangel, the messenger of God, where he wanted to send a, a message to one of his prophets or one of his people that he was sending a messenger, an angel, an archangel by the name of Gabriel, and he made the announcement to Mary that she had found favor in the eyes of God that ultimately that she will be the bearer of the one who will ultimately turn the world upside down. So then, uh, and I think, and I think I need to share notice with you, Mary, she was just minding her own business, Joseph going to work, uh, doing his own thing, doing what he does, he could with his hands, they say that he was a carpenter that was minding their own business, but then while he was at work, Mary at the house, and here comes this, this angelic being in her present to make this divine announcement. And I think I need to share notice with you this morning is I don't know how you feel about it, but I believe and I know that God still uses angels. Is there anyone here that know that God uses angels? You see, an angel is ultimately an extension of who God is. They carry, they carry the glory of God. They, they carry the messenger of God, the message of God. So, so Mary, she was there in mind in her own business and here you have this angelic being come with this divine announcement that she found favor among all the, the people of the earth. What, a, what an announcement, what an announcement that is that um, uh, uh, God will send an angel your way and tell that uh, have a special mission for you to do. Now, 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 now the, the announcement was that, that Mary, the, the Gabriel told uh, Mary that she will be conceived a son and that uh, the son shall, shall be uh, save the world from their sins. And you know, and that complex Mary was all messed up and complex and she was saying how then can I I bring forth a son and I never even knew a man. And you know uh, what uh, 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 Luke 1 35 says the angel told uh, Mary said the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you and then you shall uh, uh, bear a son and you shall be the son of God. And I think I need to channel this with you sometimes Sometimes God will give you a message. Sometimes God will find favor in your life. But you and he, we in our own minds cannot see how this thing is going to come to pass. But I tell you, when you got hand, God's hands on you, and I tell you, the power of God shall rest upon you. And, and the doors that you thought were closed will soon be open. How many of us know that God can open doors? that was closed in your face. And when the anointing, when the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, you'll see there is a preparation stage. You'll see that, um, that the Holy Ghost had to come upon Mary to purge her from any and all sins that she might have had. And you know that time, uh, uh, um, and, and been the Holy Ghost coming upon her, and she will be conceived by the Holy Ghost and not by the seed of man. For you know that, uh, you know what Job said, that a man born of a woman uh, is to have trouble, is full, full of days and trouble. But here, uh, so now Mary, she, she done, she done accepted what God uh, wanted her to do, and, and now the Holy Ghost came upon her, and now she had been saturated and submerged in the power of God, and the Holy Ghost came upon upon her and now she had to tell what God told her to her husband and you know I think I need to share notice with you that um, whatever God whatever vision whatever 
uh, God had told you, whatever God had put in your spirit, whatever God is preparing you for, I think it's no worthy uh, for you to know that everybody is not going to believe the calling that God has on your life. There's so many people around is not going to believe the mission that God had put in your heart to do. So Mary, 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 uh, the, the type of woman that she was and the type of man that Joseph was, uh, the Bible says uh, that uh, Mary and Joseph, that they were engaged to be married. And back then, uh, in the, the Hebrew tradition, uh, is that an espousal or, or an engagement was as serious as one who is married. So he, so, so you could imagine now uh, they are engaged, they are happy, and, and, and uh, making all these wedding plans and, and doing what they. Uh, what they are doing, but now uh, God had interrupted that flow because there was something that he wanted to do for the world uh, through Mary, but Mary had to tell her husband the world for whom she was engaged to, that she was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. Now, now, now you could imagine uh, the Bible says that uh, uh, Joseph was a just man, that Joseph was an honorable man that, that Joseph was a man uh, 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 that was uh, a devout Jew uh, that he was doing everything he's supposed to be doing and, and the very person that he loved will come now that said that she was having a child by uh, far for God uh, that she was conceived by the Holy Ghost uh, now you could imagine you could imagine that Joseph uh, that uh, has he was that he could have been that he was all perplexed and troubled that he was all messed up and distressed because the very woman that he's about to marry said that she'd been pregnant by God now 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 you could see you could identify if you will there was maybe some situations in your life that you were all perplexed about that you was all messed up about that you didn't think that could ever happen to you in your lifetime. And so that um, uh, Joseph Dam, uh, he's there all perplexed. He's all frustrated uh, at, with this situation uh, that uh, Mary had just dropped a bomb on him. His happiness all ruined. He had to look at his reputation because by law in Leviticus chapter 2 and verse 10 that by law that he was able to uh, go and uh, have, get a divorcement and ultimately have her stoned. But I tell you uh, that uh, Joseph loved Mary and he wanted to put her away privately. And, and I tell you, I know there is someone here or there that you had a situation that had you all messed up. It just seemed like your mind cannot get focused on any one thing. You wake up thinking about that situation. You go to bed thinking about that situation. You all uh, and full of anxiety uh, and don't know which way to go. Uh, and I wonder, is there anyone here uh, that ever had a situation uh, to where you didn't know what to do, you did not know where to go, uh, and you did not know how this is going to turn out? Uh, so you did so thin, so thin, so thin, uh, so was Joseph. Uh, he thought on this so long until uh, uh, he was trying to figure out uh, uh, how he was going to divorce Mary without making her a public spectacle. Uh, so while uh, he thought on these things, uh, that he fell uh, asleep. Uh, and as he fell 
God of sleep that the angel of the Lord visited him in a dream. How many of us know that God will give you an answer in your dreams? I tell you, dreams are very important nowadays. There is so much going on in our lives and God will send you an answer in your dream. And I think you know you need to pay attention to what your dreams are saying. The very thing, the very answer that you were looking for, God may send it to you in your dreams. You know, you know, you know, you know that when Daniel, that Daniel had dreamed and he was an interpreter of dreams. You remember that Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. I tell you, uh, God will visit you uh, in your dreams. Uh, and so uh, and so then uh, uh, Joseph uh, could thought about uh, all the embarrassments uh, of that dealing with Mary uh, and how his reputation and her reputation uh, could have been all messed up. Uh, but then the angel of God uh, had came to Joseph uh, and told Joseph uh, that to fear not uh, that you ought to take uh, a Mary as your wife uh, for what she had said unto you uh, that she is conceived of the Holy Ghost uh, and that tongue um, uh, but this is what I want you to do uh, uh, that when she uh, uh, give birth to that child uh, that you need to name him Jesus uh, you need to name him Emmanuel uh, and that because Jesus means uh, the saved from their sins. And I tell you people, you need to be aware of the names you give your children. You see, your name reflect the kind of character that your children may have. And so the names in the Bible match the character of other individuals. And now I need you to observe him uh, just as God was preparing Moses, preparing Joseph uh, to give to uh, receive uh, the birth of Jesus. He was also preparing the birthplace. Uh, you know, uh, so then uh, the angel is dealing uh, with Joseph and Mary, uh, but then God had another plan uh, there in Rome. Uh, for you see, uh, if you read over uh, in Leviticus chapter 2 uh, not Leviticus but Luke chapter 2 uh, and verse 1 through 7 uh, you will find uh, that the, uh, Caesar Augustus uh, had put out a decree uh, that everybody uh, within the Romans providence uh, shall come and register uh, everyone that's in their household uh, they shall register all of their property and they shall register all of their individuals and then ultimately they took a census so they can tax the citizen you see you see this stuff the IRS is doing nowadays is not anything new for we had to take census and we have to pay our taxes and so then, uh, now observe this, uh, that Caesar Augustus uh, had wanted to implement, uh, uh, if you will, uh, uh, this census uh, upon uh, uh, the Roman Empire. Uh, but then uh, you had Serenius uh, who wanted to do it uh, 27 years prior uh, to what uh, Caesar Augustus wanted to do it. Now observe here, uh, Serenius uh, if he would have succeeded uh, uh, 27 years prior, uh, and then Joseph uh, and Mary would not have a reason to go to Bethlehem in Judea. You see, God always has a plan. You know what the scripture says, uh, uh, that um, uh, there shall be the son of David for whom shall be born in Bethlehem. Uh, so then, uh, but uh, 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 Serenius uh, uh, could not 
uh, bring forth, if you will, their first senses uh, because there was trouble in Rome. Uh, and I think that is no worth it. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, we can have prayers to do something, uh, but the time may not be right. Uh, you see, God uh, allows some diversity, uh, allows some problems uh, to rise in the Roman Empire because he had plans for Joseph and Mary to be in uh, Jerusalem at a certain time. You see, uh, so you may uh, have your own plan, uh, but things might have got all crazy, uh, might have went out all out of hand. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, it may not always be the devil. Uh, you see, God may allow uh, some things to come about uh, because there may not be time for you to go into uh, what you have planned to do. Uh, you see, he might be uh, preparing some other things uh, on one hand. Uh, so that what he had uh, uh, put in your heart to do, uh, that it would come in full fruition. Uh, but then you hear uh, that you have uh, uh, Joseph uh, uh, and Mary. Uh, that's something uh, there has been uh, some trouble in the home. Uh, but then you have a uh, Gabriel uh, ultimately uh, and visit Joseph uh, uh, in a street. Uh, and then uh, I could imagine uh, that the angel uh, had told Joseph uh, uh, this was what is I told Mary uh, that she shall uh, uh, conceive of the Holy Ghost uh, and that the power of love, uh, the most highest, uh, uh, shall overshadow her. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so then, uh, uh, when uh, Joseph uh, had woke up from his dream, uh, and then him, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, him, uh, uh, this time went on, uh, uh, that of the decree uh, uh, had went out. Uh, now I could imagine uh, as Mary being uh, uh, almost uh, a full term uh, uh, that she had to make uh, this five mile journey uh, from Galilee uh, uh, to Bethlehem. Uh, uh, you can imagine uh, I know you do uh, because uh, uh, any woman uh, that may have had uh, a bit of wish I could imagine uh, what Mary could have been going through. Uh, here it is uh, in uh, the fall of the, the year. Uh, year uh, she uh, uh, making it uh, uh, five old miles uh, uh, there to Jerusalem uh, and then uh, uh, in Bethlehem. Uh, and then uh, you have a lot of people uh, uh, there in Bethlehem. Uh, and I know uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, when uh, uh, there is a tense leave uh, uh, in our days. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, the doctor will uh, uh, have the mother uh, to walk around uh, uh, that then uh, the baby will turn uh, and then be delivered. Uh, if you get up uh, and walk around the hospital uh, uh, so you can imagine uh, uh, how it was a Mary uh, uh, she uh, about the full term uh, of walking and riding a uh, uh, five long miles uh, and then uh, they get there uh, uh, in Bethlehem uh, and you will find a uh, uh, very loop uh, they said uh, uh, that there was no room uh, uh, in the inn there was no place uh, for Jesus to be born uh, and then I could imagine uh, uh, some people uh, uh, may say uh, uh, how then uh, uh, can she uh, identify with me uh, uh, if you're homeless uh, she was, uh, uh, he was homeless uh, uh, if you was uh, yes uh, 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 if you was uh, uh, put in the trash can uh, she was, uh, can identify with that uh, uh, for when she was, uh, uh, was born uh, in a cave uh, uh, in the guest house uh, he did not have uh, a pumpkin seat 
talks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I am his own. And the joy, the joy, oh, 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 oh the joy oh, we share. Oh, as we tarry there, oh, none other has ever known. Or oh, is there oh, anyone in here who knows that We're going to extend an invitation. When God is with us, even before he departed this earth, he told his disciples that I will leave you, I will not leave you comfortless. And that he just said, the spirit of the Lord shall dwell in your heart. Yes, we praise and worship when born, but yet his mission was to die on the cross and save you from your sin. We have sent an invitation. And those of you that are for Jesus have died. He was born, yes, he was born. For this purpose. And to show that God is with us. If you ever fell alone, I fell on my will say. So you when you invite Jesus into your heart, we invite Jesus into your heart. And that he shall be with you too. And if there's anything that on that is, is <laughs> viewing us by Facebook or viewing us by live.me, that it is the first first time here about the graces of God and Jesus dying for your sins. There's nothing, there's nothing that you can do so badly that God or Jesus will not forgive you for. That you're going to repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into life, come into my life. Forgive me for my sins, forgive me for my wrong feelings. Guide my thoughts, guide my heart, guide my life. Upon this day, upon this season, I give my life unto you in the name of Jesus. And if you can repeat, if you have repeated that, but the Bible said that thou art saved, that you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, that God had raised him from the dead, that thou art saved. And you are saved even now. Even now. Just come uh, this morning, just give you the praise. And Lord God, as you 
God, we worship you, we praise you for a Savior Son Jesus to be born into this world for the mission to die for our sins. And Lord God, we just want to say thank you. And that uh, upon reception and receiving Jesus our Lord and Savior, that we will, when we leave this planet, that we'll be in your presence forever, through all in eternity. And Lord God, that we forever give you the praise, honor, the glory, in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus. And all people say it. Amen. Amen. You might repeat after me. So that faith. So that faith. Come by here. Comes by here. And hear it by. And hear it by.